Welcome back to our channel and thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2008 American science fiction drama film The Day the Earth Stood Still. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. The film starts in the year 1928. There, a mountaineer is shown who is camping on the Karakoram Mountains. That man observes a mysterious thing outside his camp. He goes out of his camp to observe it and he is left astonished after seeing it. There he sees a giant light ball. That mountaineer immediately goes near it. When he strikes his hammer on it, he immediately falls down and faints. When he revives his senses, he observes a scar on his hand. It looks strange and surprising for him. Then the movie shifts to the year 2008. Then we see a scientist named Helen here. She lives in a house along with her stepson. She has a great affection for her son. Maybe, Helen's son does not love her the same. Then some secret agents are shown in the movie who have come to take Helen. But Helen is not willing to go with those secret agents. Because she knows that her son will be left alone if she leaves from there. In spite of it, she has to go with them. They take Helen to the NASA headquarters. There, Helen meets many scientists like her. Here Helen also meets with her friend named Michael who also serves in NASA. He tells Helen that, she has been suggested by him. In the next scene, we see that all scientists are attending a meeting in the hall of NASA. They are informed that a moving object has been witnessed in Jupiter's orbit, which is moving quickly towards the Earth. Its speed is calculated as 30,000 km per second. If it collides with Earth, then there will be no sign of life. Hearing it, all scientists get worried. But the most horrible fact is that the object cannot be stopped using a missile. Because its velocity is very high. Then Helen is shown talking to her son through a phone. She advises her son to sleep in the cellar tonight. Because a deadly storm is going to break out today. Further, we see all the scientists are moving in the aircraft of NASA. They start observing that moving object from NASA's aircraft. That moving object decelerates while it moves towards the Earth. After some time, that object lands on Earth. That moving object was nothing but an alien spaceship. Now, all the scientists move towards that alien spaceship. All scientists are looking at the spaceship very keenly. A bright light emits from it. Now an alien emerges from that alien spaceship. Helen tries to shake her hand with it, but the military force, shoots it. That alien gets wounded badly. Helen gets very confused seeing it. Helen calls for rescue. Immediately a huge and colossus humanoid comes from the alien spaceship. It doesn't look so horrible in its appearance, but some electromagnetic radiations are emitting from his eyes. As a result, all the lights and connectivity get disabled. Later that humanoid utters a very frightening sound. That sound looks so loud that it becomes inaudible for the human ears. All of them start to fall to the ground. Meanwhile, that humanoid notices Helen and starts to attack her. But that alien forbids it. Because alien has noticed that Helen is actually a good lady and she can assist it. Then we see that alien gets admitted to the hospital while the bullet is being removed from its body. A strange thing happens here, its skin begins to shed. It means that the alien's skin has been completely shed. All scientists are stunned after witnessing it. Because that alien resembles just like human beings. Seeing that, scientists decide to check the DNA of that alien. By checking it, they know that alien's DNA matches with the DNA of human beings. Scientists also discover that aliens have visited Earth before, through DNA sequencing. And this already happened before. We see at the beginning of the movie that, the mountaineer had a scar on his hand. Actually, aliens have taken the DNA of that mountaineer. Helen thinks that the covered skin of alien looks like worms. That DNA was used so that aliens can breathe on the Earth. Now we see that alien is talking with Helen and another person. We know through it, that alien has familiarity with our languages. The other lady present there is a defense officer of US military forces. According to her, this alien may prove a threat to them and also it looks very threatening to our planet. But alien reveals to Helen that he has come here to save the earth. 
that defense officer mentions about malfunction of the satellite and also the disruption of communication when it arrived here. Alien says to her that it wants to meet the leader of Earth. But the defense officer disallows it. She takes that alien from there. Then they start the interrogation of the alien. There the alien does not give a single answer to the officer, and in turn, it controls the machine and the interrogator officer with his power. Later, it is seen that small alien spaceships begin to land on the whole planet. People start fearing too much. After this, it is seen that the alien's condition starts to worsen when it is at the airport. He contacts Helen from there. Because it knows that no one can help it besides Helen. Helen along with her son reaches that alien, with much effort. And she offers it a medicine which makes it recover. Now that alien is shown meeting with a man. He was in the restaurant when it meets him. And it is revealed through their conversation. That he is also an alien. He landed on this planet 70 years ago. That old alien tells this alien that human beings are destroying the earth. They are still doing it in spite of the knowledge. After that, the alien is shown at the bank of a stream. There we see a spaceship that resembles an alien spaceship. When he touches the spaceship all the aliens move into their spaceships. Later, all those spaceships start to fly towards space. It means that they are returning from Earth. It means that aliens have sent back all alien spaceships from this planet. Observing it, Helen becomes upset. She also begins to think that aliens are also a threat to the planet. Alien tells Helen that. It wants to save this Earth from human beings. And human beings are spoiling this Earth which the aliens won't let happen. Helen fearfully asks the alien. Can you give one more chance to humanity? Alien tells, human beings did not understand even we awarded them many chances. Now we cannot do anything. While Helen and the alien are conversing, a police officer recognizes the alien and approaches there. That police officer orders the alien to place its hand on the car. That car hits that police officer when the alien places its hand on it, because of its superpowers, resulting in the death of the officer. But the alien revives him again and brings him back to life. Now we can infer that the alien possesses superpowers. Afterwards, it goes to Helen and says, he was interrupting us. So I killed him. But I have also recovered him completely. Helen requests again that it should give one more chance to humanity. Later, the alien reminds Helen that I had said to you, I want to meet the leader of the earth. But it was not fulfilled. Now nothing can happen. Alien and Helen are seen at the house of a professor. There we see a maths formula on the board, which was never solved by the humans. But that alien solves it in a few seconds. The professor is just surprised seeing it. The professor says how come it's possible. But the alien tells him, it is possible. Then the alien tells Helen, and that professor, that they all got united when their planet was about to destroy. And they changed their way of life. And they succeeded to secure their planet. After this, the professor explains to the alien, when you felt that your planet is going to be destroyed, then you had united. Human beings are doing nothing because they have still not felt it. If human beings feel that their planet Earth is going to be ruined, they will also take many steps to protect it. Alien's thought begins to change on hearing the words of the professor. Meanwhile, we see Helen's son awakening from sleep. He never likes that alien. He also dislikes his mother, as she is assisting the alien. Because he knows that, an alien is a threat. Realizing it, he contacts the police force. He also reveals that the alien is along with him. Within a short time, US military helicopters reach there. Helen, her son and alien flee from there. And they move to the woods. Then a US military officer descends and captures Helen and moves to the helicopter. Here alien crashes the two helicopters, using its superpower. Alien also rescues Helen's son when he is going to fall into the stream. Here the movie shifts to that giant robot. US military targets that humanoid through its military helicopter. But that robot does not get any harm. That robot crashes their planes on their own military tanks. 
Here the scientists of NASA plan and capture that robot in a strong sphere to explode it. And also they succeed in doing that act. But the robot remains safe and it gets transformed into a group of numerous little insects. These insects look very terrifying, as they can pulverize whichever comes on their way. Now Alien and Helen's son are shown. Helen's son is trying to contact Helen but the phone looks out of order. He is unable to access her. So Alien repairs that phone, using its powers. Now he calls her mom and tells her to meet at his father's grave. Now we can notice that Helen's son and the alien have become good friends. Now Helen's son reaches his father's grave. Helen's son has witnessed how the alien has revived a man, that is the reason why he bought it here, so that it may resurrect his father. But alien tells him that it will never be able to resurrect the decayed thing. Here Helen's son gets very dejected. And starts crying loudly. At the same time, Helen also approaches there and embraces his son. She makes him quiet. Helen also reveals that she also misses his father. And she also reveals that she sees the reflection of her husband in him. Then mother and son start to weep a lot, embracing each other. Helen's son apologizes to her. Seeing it, the alien is left surprised. It had not witnessed such behavior of human beings before. Helen requests to alien here, humanity should be given one more chance. Now they see the insects swarm in the air which was changed from that robot. After this, the alien says to Helen, we will have to pay for it. And we have to move to Central Park. After reaching Central Park, they get worried after seeing it. There they see many insects flying. Anyhow, they reach a safe place. At the same time, Helen's son nose begins to bleed. And he loses his consciousness within seconds. Alien informs Helen that, insects had entered into his body. At the same time, Helen's nose also starts to bleed. But Helen pleads with the alien to save the life of her son. Alien removes all insects from the body of Helen and her son. The alien enters his spaceship, seeing Helen and her son for the last time. Electromagnetic radiation emanates from the alien spaceship when it touches it. This causes the end of all insects. It means that human beings will not be eradicated. The most astonishing thing seen here is all the telecommunication networks and lights get turned off. Even the watches stop working. It means that human beings technology comes to its end. In the end, it is shown that Helen and her son move to the alien spaceship, and alien spaceship begins to fly in the air, leaving this planet. It means that the alien is still alive and the movie ends with this scene.